Yeah? No, I'm literally in the middle of it now. Why? I'm literally, give me 30 seconds. What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and regular viewers of the channel will remember a week and a half ago-ish um, I cooked a steak in the Chefry on the griddle and it was beautiful. And I actually got that steak from B&M Bargains which you wouldn't associate getting a steak from there. And today is exactly the same. I have been to B&M Bargains and I've seen these jumbo sausage rolls by the Welsh Pantry. So we've got some Welsh sausage rolls. Quality savoury food. And I don't know what that says there. Why pantry? Kimber egg. I'm guessing it just means Welsh pantry in Welsh. So it's, yeah, some pork sausage rolls, jumbo sausage rolls. And they're two of them, decent size. £1.19 pence. Can't go wrong, can you? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's have a look at this, uh, this packet. So this is the packet by the Welsh Pantry, quality savoury food, and to be fair, they look all right. They look like they've already been cooked, to be honest. Um, ignore the date, this has been done before um, budget week, so you guys are gonna see this after it. So it says two jumbo sausage rolls, seasoned pork filling wrapped in puff pastry. Sometimes you can't beat a sausage roll, can you? Greg's, but they are getting expensive. They are getting expensive now. If anyone can translate that in Welsh, bang it in the comments for me. Help me out. Thank you. I'm guessing it's probably just says the Welsh Pantry. Or it might even say quality savoury food in. Well, I don't know. Let me know what it says. Oh, look at this. So, big list of ingredients here. You've got 17% pork. 7% pork fat. And that's about it. So you've got wheat as the allergen. And then obviously a lot of spices. So, 24% meat. It's not the best, but it is what it is. A lot of um, spices in there, so hopefully that adds to the flavour. It always says this. There's a few nut statements on this one here. Factory's got no nuts, but can recipes no nuts, but the ingredients cannot guarantee nut free. Origin of pork, UK and non UK. So it does say it serves two, and this is the nutritional information. If you guys that know what you're talking about there, I of course do not. Per roll, 419 calories. Right, so we can open cook it for 15 minutes. For best results, heat from chilled. This is chilled. This product's suitable for heat from chilled. So you can eat it as it is or you can oven cook it. Well, I'm just going to have one and my daughter's going to have the other one. So we are going to oven cook both of these. To oven cook, preheat oven. Fan assist 180, gas mark 6. Remove packaging and place on a baking tray near the center of the oven for 15 minutes. And you can freeze them if you freeze them before you buy them, so you can keep them in the um, in the freezer and then pull them out whenever you need. And obviously the cooking instructions. Hmm. Does it say defrost? Yeah. So it says to defrost before you cook. Nice recyclable and a GB sticker. So let's get into these. Get them open, see what we're dealing with. The Welsh Pantry Jumbo Sausage Rolls. And there they are. Look like they're nice and flaky, you can see that. Obviously you can eat it like this. Filled to both ends by the looks of it. If it's gonna focus there, and there we go. Got that sausage meat filling, pork, all the way on both ends. Quite lengthy, it's a bit bigger than my hand. It's probably about the same size as a Greg sausage roll. So obviously you can oven cook these. I'm not going to do that. You'll hear. I'm going to bang these in the tower air fryer. It said 15 minutes on the on 180 for the oven, so I'm reckoning it'll be about what 12 minutes on the in the tower. We'll, we'll start it with 12, and then we'll give it a we'll give it a test. There we go. So it actually have only taken nine minutes. These are now absolutely brown, crispy and perfect. So it's time to have a taste. So here they are. 
like I said, I am only having one, so one of these is going to be going upstairs to my daughter. But they look decent. So I'm going to just chop into one now. I'll give you guys a closer look inside. Look at that pastry flaking. There it is. Nice and full, that, if it focuses. Looks all right for only 24% actual pork meat. All right, let's have a taste. So it is all important taste time. Just gonna let this cool down slightly. I'll let you have a little look inside there. Look at that. Got a little more light here. Looks very full. There's no like empty. Normally, sometimes on, on one side you can get empty emptiness. Emptiness all around. <laughs> anyway, the pastry flake gets all over this this board. You can it flakes off. You can see here look. Flaky pastry. Puff pastry is flaky. So smells nice. Smells really like really I'm gonna say porky. Sausage, porky, whatever. Alright, let's go in for it. Hmm. Not bad that. You can tell it's a little bit cheap. That sausage meat, although it is a, it is full, that sausage meat, it's a little bit mushy. It's lacking a bit of flavour. Um, it's a bit bland. But it is £1.19 for, for two. And the fresh ones, well, it's not the pre-cooked ones, aren't they? You can eat them cold. I think the um, the frozen Aldi ones are better. They are literally on a par with the frozen Greg's one from Iceland. I think I did a video on that months and months ago. But, yeah. Unfortunately for the Welsh people out there, the Welsh pantry sausage rolls is, they're not they're not anything spectacular. They're not great. They need ketchup, which is always a bad sign. Squeeze balls. So, <laughs> go over the other side. This is how I would have to eat this now. Big bludge of ketchup, ketchup on it. Mm, it helps. But not much. So, that is very disappointing, unfortunately. I had high hopes for this. It is what it is. You can't, they can't all be great. Stick to Greg's or I, I, um, Aldi frozen ones there. They're pretty decent from what I can remember. Give these ones a swerve. But £1.19, if you can eat them cold and they're already cooked, if you're on the go, maybe. Maybe if you have nicked a, a sachet of ketchup from Weatherspoons or Mackey's or something, then give them a go. I don't know. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow for another food review. Did somebody say just oh, 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 oh. What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again. Hope you're all fantastic. Thanks for watching. Would be special. Wouldn't buy that again.